do some calipers for the wagon. Let's have a crack. Okay, so pull the calipers off the wagon. That'll be them ones there. Um, um, if I can get them pistons out. So we've got them to move a little bit, but they just lock up. So I went and found another set of calipers. Knock the pistons out of them. We'll give them a clean up and see how they look. If they're good to go, we'll whack some seals in and put them back together. Beautiful. Um, I should have just ordered new pistons to begin with. I should know better by now. But they're, they're not usable. They're cactus. Yeah. They both look very similar. Yeah, can't use them. So anyway, that one's cleaned up, ready to go. It's going to be far and after. <laughs> That's a little bit of a difference. The other ones are over here. I couldn't get the pistons out of them. They were um, they were in there to stay out of rather than spend 10 hours on them working on them. I just went and found another set of calipers I could get the pistons out of. So this one's going, uh, going in to be cleaned up now. And we'll whack them together like that. We've ordered the new pistons. Um, we'll get them organised and get them ready to go so we can just assemble them when they turn up. Beautiful. Okay, so cleaned up these old um, calipers for the wagon. We've got some... Um, New pistons are turned up. Beautiful. Got some kits there. I'm going to get these pistons so it will turn out. something a little bit different. We've done 10 sets of the other ones, they're easy I reckon. Of the uh, Gerlock ones, these are PBR later CLCM calipers. So, um, I'll just touch on getting that piston out again and them other ones. So you can get them out, you just got to keep working on them. So a bit of WD-40 down the porthole, down there. And, um, and a G-clamp and wind your piston all the way back in after you put some WD-40 in it, spray some around here as well. And um, and then compressed air, same as all of them, compressed air into there and try and move your piston out and just keep doing that until you get it out. Like it's, um, it, sometimes it can be a bit of stuffing around. You can take a couple of hours to get one piston out because they lock up in there with rust and whatever else. So, um, so yeah, like I said, a bit of WD-40, compressed air. If it doesn't come out, wind it all the way back in. And again, WD-40 again, then compressed air again, get it to move, and you'll get it a bit further each time. So, it's never a fun job, but it's what we do. So there's our new seals. Where's our old ones? We're just checking against that. Yep, they look pretty good. Beautiful. So our seal just goes in the groove in the caliper. Move like that. Lovely. Um, I'm not sure about the dust seals on these ones. These guns can go on later, I think. The other ones you've actually got to put the dust seal on first. So I'm just um, got some brake cleaning here. Just give this caliper, uh, give this piston a clean rather, because they put a bit of stuff on them when they manufacture them. They make them. Uh, they put a bit of anti-rust stuff on them. So just give them a clean before you uh, put them in. Sure they get all that crap off them. A little bit of brake fluid. And a little smear around your rubber. You 
can use rubber grease. Off here around the back of the piston there. And a little bit of lubrication to go in. To him about there. Um, and then find my bar, which is not here. Okay, I'm not too thick. Okay, I always use something like this so you can put it through there and get a bit of downward pressure on your, on your piston. Push him in like that. seals on. Now that's on, I'll just push that in a little bit more. That one in. Now, the biggest problem with these, okay, is, um, is these slides seize up. That's the biggest issue with them. Um, they'll seize the slide and uh, start wearing pads on one side and that sort of thing, you know. I can't believe I didn't take the rubbers out of these, but anyway. It'll be much easier if I went and got a screwdriver on. But your slides are, are, are very much um, similar to a, um, just to the caliper itself. So you've just got a little rubber in there, dust seal on them. And when they seize up, that's when they give you grief. As I said, your calipers will lock up and you won't be able to do much. You'll wear a pad out on one side and Is the other side's pretty good. So yeah, we'll put them little fellows in there. There we go, what I'm doing. Which is never an easy job.
Let's see the clutch, sometimes a challenge. Here we go. Comes in. Grease. Bit of grease in your hole. As we know, a little bit of lube always makes life a bit easier. Obviously, you don't want to heap in there, but you do want a little bit in there. So. Okay, you can see the dust seal sits on the rear, and it says figure here, so obviously they go in that way. Okay. A bit of grease on that. Just a little bit of this in this side of us. Slide as well. Because, yeah, like I said, when these slides seize up, that's when you have trouble. So, make sure they're nice and clean. A little bit of grease in them. They should not give you any grief after that. Carefully, you don't pinch the rubber. There we go. Beautiful. Again, a little grease on the end. When you have a look in here, you can see if the rubber seated properly, give them a twist. Bang, she's in. Beautiful. Lovely. Alright, so that's our slides back in. And as you can see, beautiful. What we're looking for. Okay. So these look like they're a bit like the um, a bit like the dust seals on the girl lock calipers. They've got to go in first. And then as the slide pushes back through it holds the rubber in place. There we go. There we go. 
Beautiful. Twist and they sit in the hole a bit better. A little bit of grease on your fingers never makes life easy. But there we go. So there's our slides in, new seals on. Beautiful. And there we have the PBR caliper rebuilt. Beautiful. I love it when the thing comes together. Okay. All right, I'll do the other one. Thanks for watching. As always, you know the drill. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and share it around. Have a good one. Cheers.